Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is what happens when you film and forget to turn your microphone on. But today I'm getting ready for work and wanted to share with you guys how I do a natural look in uniform. First, I'm going to prep the face with the e.l.f. setting mist and then I'm going to prime with the Farcelli Skin Tune. I like to use this especially when I'm going to work because it really fills in my pores and creates a really smooth canvas. So when I apply my foundation, it is seamless. If you're like me, then your foundation will be a long wearing one, especially when you gotta get through the work day. I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Foundation and I like to mix in a little bit of oil the oil I'm going to be using is from MAC. It smells like grapefruit. Now the NARS foundation is a little bit drying on me, so I put in a few drops of the grapefruit oil and it makes sure that I'm not dry or flaking throughout the day. Using my damp beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. For concealer, I'm going to use the new one by Milani. This has been my favorite concealer for like the past two weeks. I love the way it applies. I love the shade range. I love how creamy it is and it creates a very natural finish. Now I'm going to use the same foundation side of the Beauty Blender to blend that in just to make sure it's not a little bit brighter like I would usually do on a weekend or when I'm in civilian clothes. For powder, I'm gonna use the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm gonna apply that everywhere I put concealer. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Setting your entire face is really important in the longevity of your makeup. If you're out in the sun, if you're working on trucks, if you're even if you're sitting at an office, you wanna make sure that your face doesn't melt away with the sweat or whatever the weather conditions. Even though my face is a little bit dry, I always like to set with a powder just to make sure I'm smudge proof. I'm gonna go in with NARS Casino just to warm up the face. I don't even remember what I was talking about right here. Rambling, I'm sure. However, NARS Casino really grew on me over the years. I didn't really like it at first. I didn't really feel the need to use it, but I like the subtle bronze that it gives me. I like to preset my face with a little bit of Fix Plus when I go in with a lot of powder, just to make sure everything kind of melts together. I'm gonna do my brows today with the Benefit Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I like using this pencil because it gives me a more natural look instead of a more crisp look like using a pomade from Anastasia or concealer. I like to keep the strokes short and hair-like. That way the eyebrows don't look false or stamped on or painted on or anything like that. And I don't look as done up in uniform. Gonna, I'm gonna line my bottom waterline with the Balm pencil in the shade Mr. Right. I love this pencil for my bottom waterline. It's super creamy, it's black, and it lasts all day. 
still haven't figured out how to master my bottom waterline without tearing up. I'm gonna try to tight line the top as well because I'm gonna go in with a gel liner for my wing. That way I don't have to get as close. See this section right here on top of my lid? I always forget to set it so it starts to crease as I do my makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the NARS Casino. I'm just gonna pack that on top. Not really for any type of color, but just to set it so that it doesn't crease throughout the day. For my wing liner today, I'm gonna use the Liquid Liner by Tarte. I really like this pencil because it's the only one that I can use straight on without going in on an angle. It just makes the application a lot more precise. Moving on to one of my favorite mascaras of all time, the Falsies by Maybelline. I'm gonna use this one first to separate and lengthen my lashes. My second layer is going to be with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I like using this one second because it adds a volume. Who said you can't be cute in uniform? For lips today, I'm gonna go in with Toast and Butter by MAC Lip Tensity. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of gloss by Marc Jacobs. And then I'm going to spray my entire face with the Morphe setting spray. All right, you guys, well, this pretty much completes the look. This is how I achieve a natural glam in uniform. I'm just going to finish getting ready and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, well, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.